I'm Master Ferdinand from Sri Lanka. Presently, I'm at one of my students' residences at the Chris Cat, behind the cinnamon bread. Today, I would like to speak to you on the political topic. Should uh, the constitution of a country be like a woman's skirt? This is a very debatable point. In the modern world, it is said that government should take the minimum, what you call intervention, the intervention in the activities of her citizens. But this too is very debatable. When one thinks of a nation's constitution, it should be like a woman's skirt in political science, it is said. The reason for this is it should cover all topics, but it should cause curiosity too. This way, what you call the constitution becomes a very interesting document. But one must think that from a nation's constitution, only all the laws stem up. And if one looks at a government, if government only represents the state, then one may ask the question, when did the state come into existence? In political science, it is said, the state came into existence with civilization. But the Karl Marx doctrine doesn't accept this. They say that the state is not needed. The, what you call governments don't represent the state. So when one thinks of a nation, a government has so many responsibilities to its, or by one may say to, you know, to her citizens. So this is, this when one thinks of uh, the political side of a nation, it is very interesting. It brings in so many topics into the forefront. And uh, what you call it, one looks at the Sri Lankan constitution, it has a very long constitution, and daily the constitution is being increased, or one may say the skirt is being lengthened. The reason for this is the so many amendments that come into it with time. But if one looks at the American constitution, it has one of the shortest constitution. One may say it may be only around six pages, but it is one of the most powerful nations in the world. It is said the USA economy is around 15 trillion US dollars or the national income is around 15 trillion US dollars. And all this is achieved with a constitution which has only around six pages. Jokingly, it is said if one walks the streets of New York, the, some of the skirts that the ladies wear resemble the constitution of the USA. It is so short. But if one thinks of the late 1960s in Sri Lanka too, the short skirts were a famous topic or famous or fashion or one may say everyone is to wear it and what you call jokingly it is said even the US citizens got the idea from the Sri Lankans from the late 1960s. So with uh, so many activities the state has to do, a woman's skirt can be the guideline in the constitution of a state. This way the governments don't go deep into the lives of the citizens and the citizens are given all the freedom they need to act. But presently in Sri Lanka, the constitution is made longer and longer, or one may say the skirt is made longer and longer due to the various, what you call, amendments that are brought into it time and again. So with these thoughts, I will close.